Rogues. Um, I really like the passion and the motivation to make this a progressive animal welfare organization. Mm -hmm. um, when I started here seven and a half years ago, um, it was it was a very different organization, and we've continuous we've continued the progress, um, raising our standards for level of care, um, mm -hmm. what we're able to do for the pets, and ultimately, um, you know, we've reached some major successes in the past couple of years. So I think um, most people hear about us through um, just the fact that we've been around for so long. Um, we've recently started becoming a lot more involved in community engagement and having a media. Um, we do have a large social media presence with Facebook. Absolutely. Um, we have our own Facebook um, that we promote stories, um, hoarding cases, different things that as they go on just to engage the community and let them know the different types of things that we um, encounter on a regular basis. And mm -hmm. then we also have a couple of um, Facebook pages that are not county run, that are run by volunteers. Um, okay. One of them is Pack Pets Needs You. The other one is Pack Cats Needs You. We have some volunteering in the community pages. Um, and some of those pages have over 13,000 followers. I think it'd be a cute app and we'd at least look into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think that, um, you know, a picture say everything, so we're very aware of that. We have some professional photographers that come in here and take photos of our pets, um, and that really does help um, encourage people to come down and adopt when we have basic grainy webcam photos that aren't clear, don't show yeah. the pet's personality. Um, we have a lower adoption rate than if we have really solid stellar pictures. Um, so I think when you start getting into apps like that, you really start looking at, um, you know, that initial attraction, um, you know, to a pet, so. I think there's some level of that that does happen. Um, physical attraction has a lot to do with it. When somebody thinks of what is a cute dog, they have something in mind. Mm -hmm. And so I think, um, you know, puppies are the first to get adopted um, and there's really no way around that. Um, but there are, there are some, you know, there are some benefits and drawbacks to having a puppy. Um, one of the drawbacks is the time that you have to spend with the puppy, the amount of work that they take, the house breaking, the chewing, all of the negative problems. Um, and then we have a lot of older dogs that come completely housebroken, already trained, have solid history. We know their temperament and their disposition. Um, so we, we, we do have a, a good balance of adopters coming in that are looking for adult dogs. Yeah, there are there is competition. Um, there's only a certain number of pets out there. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, the national studies are saying that about 30% of pets come from an animal shelter. So that just tells me that we have a large market, a large audience in the community that we need to figure out a way to reach and let them know that we have what they're looking for here.